Now let's take a look at Denver's opening lineup. Millsap and Jokic, the big men. Filling out the wings, Harris and Barton. And it's Murray in at the point. And for the Clippers, they've got Morris. Patrick Beverly out there with Paul George. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Zubats in at the center. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. And stolen by Murray. Millsap kicks to Murray. Pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Yeah, Jokic did a nice job positioning himself down in the paint. Usually he's at the top of the key, but this time knew where he wanted to get the ball. Shot it on the inside and scored. Now here's Beverly. And there's the call. That's it's going to be an illegal screen. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Here's Denver now. Murray outside. Tries from 10, and Jokic with the basket on the assist by Murray. Well, that's just sweet passing there for Murray, keeping his eyes open and finding the open man. Beverly wide open. No good on the triple. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for the Nuggets. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Kawhi Leonard. I think Will Barton has figured out that scoring from the free throw line can be a good thing. It's his first trip to the line. from Barton. All three throws good from Barton. And here is Los Angeles now. Six-point game. Beverly deciding where to go with it. Leonard kicks to Beverly. Beyond the arc. The shot comes out. And the Nuggets going the other way. Murray, no good. L.A. has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Inside, here's Morris. And Morris throws it down. Well, it's the golden age of point guards and Patrick Beverly trying to show that he belongs amongst them. Great awareness on that. Here is outside. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. Millsap finds Barton. Jokic inside. Zubac defending. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. The Clippers shooting their first free throw of the night here. Free throw good for Morris. Yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Markeith, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. Now here's Barton. And that one's good. Millsap. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the in one, and this time they're not backing off. And a nice 
nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. The Nuggets have gone two for two in the game at the line. First trail by six. First quarter of play. We're about three minutes in. Beverly, the pass to Leonard. Wide open. And that one's good. Beverly. Well, there's some confidence right now in Patrick Beverly's game. He's got the green light. And that time took a little bit of a quick opportunity and nailed it. Now, here's Millsap. He kicks it to Murph. And the rejection by Zubats. And now here's George, the fast break opportunity. Again, when you go from second to fourth gear, Paul George puts a lot of pressure on the defense that way. Two shots. Five. Elbow. Two. For Los Angeles, they have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. Two. To throw good, Paul George. You wonder if Paul George finally has a situation here where he could show why he's an elite player, why he's an all star, but to pay off how hungry he is to prove it with a late postseason run. And both free throws, good for Paul George. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw. Harris against George. Harris passes to Jokic. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And it's six points for Jokic. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Trailing by four. Harris against George. Morris outside. Lock at six. And it's sent back by Millsap. Well, as soon as the shot was released, Millsap gets off the floor quickly and blocks it. The Clippers shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. throw good for Morris. And so he hits both. The Nuggets have gone five of nine from the field here in the first. Murray against Beverly. Murray, the pass to Barton. Bill Zapp looking it over. Back to Barton. For the three. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assists. And it's eight points for Will Barton. And that's some nice rotation on the ball there from Barton. Looks totally calm rising up for threes. Leonard against Barton. Leonard, no luck. The Nuggets leading by five. Harris inside the line. It's rebounded by Leonard. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. And there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. The Clippers shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight.
Bielsa. The throw good, Paul George. The Nuggets have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Jokic high post. Working on Zubats. And that one's good, Jokic. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. George against Harris. George passes to Zubats. He dishes it to Beverly. And it's off from three-point range. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Harris kicks to Millsap. Murray outside. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Well, there's a little bit of Murray's handle on display. The D looked totally confused as to what to do there. Beverly against Murray. And it's sent back by Jokic. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Who's back up? And that one's good. Barton. Time out, time out. Barton's got 10 points in the game. Just doing the job on the backboard. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Landry Shamit's checked in for Marcus Morris. Monte Morris is checked in for the Nuggets. Clippers trail by eight. And here's George. He has five. Here's Leonard and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. I didn't think there was a pass available there for Paul George, but he spots that small crease. He fires the ball through it, and he gets it to his open man. Now here is Harris. Jokic, no good. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And yes, it's good. And the Nuggets lead by eight. Well, Will Barton always going full speed. That time finds a bullet pass to a teammate. Passes it to George. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. He has seven. Oh, the turnaround jumper. That was just beautiful. Morris passes to Jokic. Rejection by Zubats. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Zubats. And the Clippers making a switch here. Harrell's checked in. Morris kicks to Barton. Off target from outside. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Shamit on the wing. Martin defending. Here's Leonard. Count it. His second make in four attempts. And, and they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Now the pass to Millsap. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That's his first foul. Jokic. Denver passing it around. Six to shoot. Here's Morris. That one rolling around and rims out. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Four-point game. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. 
Six points for Leonard. This is what Paul George gives you offensively. A guy who can create for himself, obviously, but he can do it for others and do it at a high level. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. That evens the score. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Denver's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Millsap and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Nice take from Millsap there, forcing the defense's hand literally on that drive. And he's got his first free throw of the game. falls for Paul Millsap really the hard work and the lunch pail mentality of a guy like Paul Millsap who made himself into an all-star in the Eastern Conference he's got tremendous skill and versatility and the Clippers making a change here Williams has checked in and then for Denver Plumley comes in for Jokic and it's Torrey Craig in for Barton and so Paul Millsap nails both of them the Clippers trail Everly with the ball. Feeds it to Williams. Over Harris. Denver grabs the miss. And, and Kevin, they need to be consistent with their efforts on the board. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Now, here's Millsap. He's got six. Blocked it and deflects off the backboard. That's to Shamit. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Morris passes to Millsap. Harris up top. He's guarded by Williams. Harris's shot is off. And here are the Clippers. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Pass to Shamit. 146 left to play here in the first. Passes to Leonard. And that won't go, missing the go ahead bucket. Denver's gone 1 of 3 from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Craig. He's covered by Shannon. Good work there as it goes. 119 left in the first. Beverly, the pass to Harold. Tipped away. On the wing, Williams. Fires the three. And it's Denver with the rebound. Millsap's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Plumley, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. As he continues to develop his offensive skill set, Plumley is going to draw more and more fouls like that. Denver shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. free throw. Jamichael Green, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Jackson comes in for Patrick Beverly. The Nuggets also changing it up. Grant comes in for Paul Milson. And it's Jamal Murray in for Gary Harris. And he sinks the second. 55 seconds left in the first quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Williams against Morris. <laughs> the
The Clippers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And what sets Lou Williams apart right now is his confidence. This guy is a gunner who comes in and believes that he's going to score. He often does. And both free throws good for Williams. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. Murray surveying the D. Shot clock at six. And the layup's good off the glass. Surprising quickness. Murray bearing his head down and just sprinting to the rack. Clippers trail by three. There's 18 seconds left here in the first quarter. Now Williams. And the foul on Jamal Murray. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus and we'll go to the line to shoot two. The Clippers have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. Free throw drops for Jackson. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Williams for three. Plumley with the rebound. And the wide open shot for Morris. And we'll be back with you shortly. to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And the Nuggets, guys, what jumps out to you numbers-wise? Just cashing in on second-chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Working the offensive glass, that sometimes comes from predictable shots from your offense, and they've been opportunistic here. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So out there for the Nuggets right now, They've got Plumley. Monte Morris is out there with Jamal Murray. Then there's Jeremy Grant. And it's Craig in at the small four. Outside, George. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Three on three. Grant kicks to Morris. A pass to Plumley. And Looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Not a problem. First turnover of the game, but, but overall, I like how they're taking care of the basketball. The Clippers trail. Williams scanning the floor. Here's George. The kick out to Williams. Harold trying to free himself up. And there's Williams. That's good on the assist by George. George has got three assists in the game. Williams against Murray. That shot off. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Williams with the ball. Now defended by Grant. And it's blocked. And he recovers it. Shamit misses the three. It's a neck and neck game here in Los Angeles. To Morris. Now here's Grant. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Deep two from Murray. And he overshot that one, missing. Los Angeles has gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter. Season. And Morris throws it down. Yeah, just aggressive there. Instead of going to one of his patented shots inside, Morris just simply rises up to be free. Now, here's Grant. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Here are this postseason's dead-eye shooter. These guys have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. And you look at Morris, one of the best shooters in the NBA, top five in the league at this moment. He is having so much success from beyond the three-point line. Some guys just thrive on this kind of pressure. And he makes the first. one misses so he goes one for two and Morris has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Clippers they've only given up one point in the second quarter that one coming at the line here's Craig Murray outside it's a floater and the layup is up and in Murray's got the game tied up here for the Nuggets. <laughs> That's a tricky little move there as Murray found a little bit of space and then got that floater off. Pass to Morris. Williams up on top, covered by Morris. Count that one. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Nuggets have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for the Clippers. And Denver also making a switch. Jokic, he's checked in for Plumlee. Murray against Williams. Releases. And it falls over the rim and in. Murray's got four points this quarter. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Outside, George. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. George has got the lead up to three now for the Clippers. Passes it to Jokic. Craig kicks to Murray. The Nuggets moving the ball around. A fadeaway. Jokic, no good. Clippers leading by three. Shamit, no good that time. Good work defensively by Morris. Here's Craig. And the pass to Morris. Leonard against Grant. Six on the shot clock. Denver needs to get off his shot. A three from Morris. Rebound by the Clippers. Harold dishes to Williams. Little high post. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Grant's got some verts. I mean, it's all out there, especially effective on getting to the shooters and making an impact. And here is Los Angeles now. And here is Williams. He's got seven. The dish to Leonard. Shoots over Grant. Leonard with the bucket. Leonard's got the lead back up to three now for the Clippers. So the dilemma is this with Kawhi. Do you play off so he doesn't blow by you, or you get up on him to prevent the jump shot? Either way, he's going to make you pay. Jokic draws the double. 
Here's Morris. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on George. The Nuggets have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. Andrew Beverly is checked in for Lou Williams. Denver also making some changes. Paul Millsap's checked in for Grant. Martin comes in for Torrey Craig. And Harris subbed in for Murray. And Morris drops them both. And here is Los Angeles now. Pass to Harrell. Back to Beverly. Pass to Leonard. Shot clock at five. Again, Los Angeles. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Morris looking over the floor. Barton outside. Fires the three. Sinks the triple. Barton's got it all tied up now for the Nuggets. And a great job on the screen and roll with Barton. Really so effective in how he's using his body on that play. Leonard against Millsap. And Leonard gets it to go. Leonard's got six points in the quarter. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. For Denver, they've gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Out to Morris. For three, Harris. And again, Denver with the triple. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. Harris against George. Here's Leonard. No good that time. Good work defensively by Millsap. Martin with it. 13 points in the game. From downtown. But they recover it. Stolen by Beverly. Shamit. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Guys, you will not see too many of those kind of threes in transition. Pass to Jokic. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Montrez here. Now, six foot ten, 250 pounds. That's a big man out there, and he uses his size to draw the contact there. Nice job by Jokic. The Nuggets have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Free throw, good. Jokic. Well, it didn't take too long for Jokic to blossom into one of the better young players in the league. Much quicker than most folks, I think, give him credit for. Morris is checked in for Los Angeles. And Jokic drops them both. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And when he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. And George, here we go. That one goes in. George has got five points in the quarter. Yeah, Paul George can get very shifty, even with that kind of frame, and he fights his way through the contact. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Denver making a switch here. Murray's checked in. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. Nikola Jokic, number one. And 
and Murray's got the ball here for Denver. Barton outside. And here's Harris from the arc. And he's good on the three ball. Harris has got six points. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Here's George. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, height and length at that position for Paul George, that's problematic for a defender. And he used his size to draw the foul that time. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Paul George. Second free throw, no good. And you can see that even though he ties the game up. Disappointed he couldn't give him the lead. Harris inside the line. Morris with the rebound. LA has gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. A shot by George, wide open. Offline with his three. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And he's now made three three-pointers here in the second, starting to get it going. Now Beverly. The pass to Leonard. Shoots over Barton. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to Barton. Back to Jokic. Poked away. Beverly against Millsap. Here's Leonard. A shot. No good. Barton with some nice D. This one for three. That shot. No good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Back to Beverly. George passes to Harrell. Kicks to Beverly. Pass to Leonard. Millsap with the steal. And the rejection by Leonard. Uh, let this be a reminder. When you're going up for a shot, it's always important to know where Kawhi Leonard may be lurking. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside shots. And Burton throws it down. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Now, here's Beverly. Here's Leonard. And another field goal in this total. Make it 7 for 14, shooting 50%. Not something we're used to seeing in this offense, but tonight it may be just about give Kawhi the ball and get out of the way. Here's Murray. Softly drops in the floater. Murray's got 10 points. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Harold, the pass to Leonard. Three-pointer makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Harris against George. Harris passes to Murray. Here's the three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. He makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And this is who he has become. Leonard, with the great body control, takes the hit and still able to sink the shot and one. And he's got his first chance at the line here. What's up?
And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. You think about how quickly it was that Kawhi Leonard just rocketed in the superstardom. And as a leader of a very proud franchise, if you're a coach, he's everything you'd maybe want in a player. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now here's Leonard. Can't hit from 12. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. For three, Murray hits it from three-point range. Now it's a four-point nugget lead. Now that's not bad form there. You don't have to tell Murray twice to let it fly from there with that much room. A three from Leonard. Hits the three-point bomb. Leonard's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Clippers. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Denver on top. They're up by one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Kawhi, a big first half for you all offensively, but big first half for them, too. Any concern there? Uh, they're still scoring pretty good, so we got to play better defense second half uh, because we don't know if we're going to keep making the shots that we're making right now. We'll see who can get some stops, Kawhi. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We hope you're enjoying this round two conference semifinal. For the Nuggets, they've hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. If what we've seen in game one so far is any indication, we're going to have quite a series on our hands. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets' first half? Well, they're putting bodies on people. If you just look at the rebounding numbers, you can tell that they've been putting their body on and being more physical than the other team. Now, that fact looms large on both sides, and that's going to be the difference in the second half. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? Well, they had no consistency on the defensive end. Looked like they were building confidence, and then boom, turn up the volume. A series of bad plays. They're giving up way too many good looks. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. We welcome you back to 2K Sports coverage of the Western Conference semifinals. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. We've definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. Now you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. We've got Patrick Beverly. Morris is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Paul George, and it's Zubat in at the five. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Will Barton catches the ball. A great job of squaring up, and the defense better be aware of him there. Murray against Beverly. Down low, here's Leonard. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Leonard's got 25 points. Beverly against Murray. Now here is Harris. Martin the bounce pass. Here's Jokic. And Denver again with the bucket. Well, Jokic being assertive now in the mid-range and has the touch to bury that kind of shot. Clippers trail by three. Outside, George. From past the arc. It's hauled in by Jokic. Jokic has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Harris looking it over. A 
And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Montrez Harrell on top. Number three, Paul Millsap. And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Great timing on their part to get it going in the postseason. Just five on the clock. Murray for three. Another three for Denver. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. Knocks it loose and stolen by Murray. Jokic inside. Working on Zubac. Yeah, Jokic in a smart place there. Collects the offensive rebound. Very alert and cleans up the mess. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Just about two minutes into the second half now. George passes to Zubats. Outside Leonard. Outside George. And they get it. And it's George finishing it off. Now PG showing that. That's a signature dunk from him. Denver leading by seven. Murray outside. Barton kicks to Murray. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Fades. Again, the Nuggets score. And, and I'm not really sure that's the time for the fade away, but he sure can make it count. Beverly, the pass to Zubats. Beverly against Murray. George, that's a two-pointer. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Murray, the pass to Jokic. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Jokic doing a better job there of using his body inside and getting the angle then finds his way to the line. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Jokic drops them both. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They trail by nine points. Los Angeles calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Leonard, no luck. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Millsap trying to get open. Barton, no luck. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Beverly finds Leonard. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Lock at six. Here's George. He can't get it to go. Barton with some nice D. Harris outside. Passes it to Barton. Now here's Jokic. That's a floater go. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. 
pretty obvious right now the defense is not comfortable with Barton taking those shots. He's remarkable at drawing fouls when he's on the floor. Shooting two. And free throw good from Barton. throws good from Barton and if they continue Kevin their outstanding free throw shooting that'll help them seal the deal and the foul on Will Barton and that'll be his third foul so far here's Leonard 25 points in the game outside George and there's the pass to Zubats. outside Leonard Shot clock at six. And if Gary Harris does not close out, that shot probably goes in. Instead, no dice. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Now, here's Zubox. No points in the game yet for him. Barton against Leonard. Over Jokic. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. 27 points for Kawhi Leonard. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Free throw, good. Jokic. And Jokic drops them both. And he's given them a good contribution at the line tonight. Getting there a lot and delivering on his opportunities. To the inside, Leonard. That ball's nice speed that time from George. George has got assist number five here tonight. Now the inside part of Kawhi's game just so hard to stop. He's too physical and seems to be just locked in at times. Clippers trail by 11. George looking over the floor, and it's Leonard with the jam. Well, there are some ways to fire up your teammates. That right there is one of them, thanks to Kawhi Leonard. Harris outside. To the middle, here's Jokic, and Jokic throws it down. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. George with the ball, picked up by Harris. Here's Leonard. That shot misses. Murray with the defensive effort. And Harris wide open. He shoots. And again, it's Denver. The confidence that Gary Harris is playing with right now. He is ready to shoot once that ball touches his mitts. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The first one falls. Beverly just motivated every night to get out here to play 
to compete. He hustles and wants to make it really tough on anybody that's on the opposing side of things. All three throws, good from Beverly. Denver leading by 11. Jokic kicks to Barton. And it's Jokic missing. Clippers have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Leonard dishes to Beverly. Pass to Morris. Tries again, and it's sent back by Jokic. Deceptive reach from Jokic there, swatting that shot away using those long arms. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with the rundown of this postseason's assist leader. Fifth on the list is Patrick Beverly. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. good on that one. And he's good on the second. And Murray's got the ball here for the Denver Nuggets. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Out to Harris from outside the arc. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his third assist on the night. Uh, like that from Murray right there. When he's passing it like this, it can make him so much better and so much more open. And the Clippers call time here. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team, Greg. So, for the Clippers, Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Zubox. Lou Williams is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Outside, Williams. George against Harris. Five to shoot. There's the triple. He doesn't hit that one. Now Denver takes it the other way. Here's Jokic. He's got 23. Barton outside. And the rejection by Harrell. Clock at four. Jokic passes to Barton. Over Leonard. Making the suffocating defensive play right there. Leonard, an overwhelming force on that end of the floor. On the wing, Williams. Guarded by Harris. Williams passes to Harrell. Barton with some nice D. Denver leading by 13. Harris outside. Here's Millsap. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Morris has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's George. Draws contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Not just the accuracy in the quarter. It's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. He's had five chances at the line. Gone four for five. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Green, he's checked in for Morris. And it's Jackson in for Leonard. And Denver with a change here, too. Grant's checked in. The throw good, Paul George. Denver's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Harris outside. 
to the paint. It's stolen by Green. Loads it up there for Harrell. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Harrell doesn't really force many things. It's a lot of baskets on the roll where he's around in close to make an impact offensively. Now here is Harris. 14 points for him. Deep two from Murray. Green with the rebound. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down now to just six points with that basket from Paul George. Harris kicks to Green. George against Barton. Pass to Murray. Let's go. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Murray's got 18 points. And that's where Murray's speed shines through. He gives the D no time to react off that pass. Murray against Jackson. The shot's good. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. The Nuggets leading by six. And Murray, here we go. I like that penetration there. Murray getting to the cup with great quickness. This is his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. Yeah, there's a lot of potential left in the tank for Jamal Murray. He's able to play both guard spots, but it's that sweet jump shot that has his teammates and the coaching staff salivating about where his ceiling is. Leonard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Andre Shamit comes in for Jackson. The Nuggets also changing it up. Mason Plumley's checked in for Jokic. Torrey Craig comes in for Barton. And Monte Morris subbed in for Harris. And there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Leonard. Another one falls for the Clippers. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And the coach is pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Here's Craig. Murray outside. Launches it. Six to shoot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The defender tries to get all ball, but Plumlee's size and strength come into play there. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Will Barton. He's checked in for the Nuggets. Plumley hits them both. There's 117 left here in the third quarter. Williams passes to Leonard. Here's the teardrop. Plumley with the rebound. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Morris outside. And Burton throws it down. Man, he's just been impressive tonight and efficient from everywhere on the floor. Perfect night. And here is Shamit. He's got seven to the middle. Here's Harrell. Barton with some nice D. The Nuggets leading by ten. And here's Morris for three. Doesn't go for him. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. And that one's good, Leonard. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. 
Martin surveying the floor. On the wing, Morris. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Morris has got six points. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And so it's Denver. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We'll return shortly. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Now the passing for the team becoming contagious, this time involving the big. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And Denver will start the fourth quarter with. They've got Morris. Grant is out there with Plumley. Then there's Murray. And it's Craig in at the three. Jackson misses. The Nuggets leading by 11. Here's Grant. Now the dish to Morris. He kicks to Plumley. Morris passes to Plumley. Here's Craig. Let's it go. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Harrell's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Morris. And it's denied. And even three on three break. Plumley in the post. He is defended by Harrell. And the rejection by Harrell. Murray with it. Grant outside. On deep. Rebound by Harold. Harold's got his fifth rebound in this one. Passes it to Morris. Gets a very good look and converts. Morris has got a bad guy to single digits for Los Angeles. George against Murray. Grant the pass to Morris. Here's Plumley. Back to Morris. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on Reggie Jackson. First one drops. And Morris drops them both. Clippers trail by 11. Here's George. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Plumley's got his sixth rebound on the night. Murray outside. Now Morris. Grant surveying the D. Shot clock at six. In the corner, it's Morris. And another miss by Denver. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And it's George missing. Denver leading by 11. The feed to Grant. Good. Nice job down low. In the last few years, we've seen a nice leap from Jeremy Grant, including how effective he can be in that spot. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Down low. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Morris. There's the pass to Craig. 
Paul George with the steal. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Count that one. Although he's a little bit smaller, Lou Williams does not deter himself from getting inside and scoring over the top of the trees. Now here's Murray. Throats one up. Morris with the block. Here's Harrell. Pass to Morris. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Morris has got four this quarter. And dangerous in that catch and shoot game. In fact, anytime Morris can square up, he's a lot more consistent. Denver calls timeout. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Jokic has checked in for Mason Plumley. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to catch what Mike Malone said to his team. He's happy with how they've been playing. He told them, hey, they had their chance, but this is where we take it from them. This is our game and our series. He's got them pretty fired up, Kevin. And here is Williams. Teardrop shot, and he lays it up and in. He's so good at driving to the rim. Even though he's a little bit older, Williams still with great speed, change of pace, and picks the right angle. Now here's Murray. No good on the three. They're going to have to make a pretty big comeback here. I think it's be a mistake to let the shot clock in under 10 seconds from here on out. Harrell finds Jackson, and the wide-open shot from Morris. Off target with his three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. Morris with the ball. Now guarded by Harrell. Morris against Williams. Five on the clock. Here's Jokic. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. Jokic in body control. Hey, years ago, we wouldn't have said that. Timeout, timeout. I'm saying it now. Los Angeles calls timeout. And Los Angeles with some changes. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Morris. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Jackson. The Nuggets also changing it up. Paul Millsap is checked in for Grant. Will Barton comes in for Torrey Gray. And it's Gary Harris in for Morris. No problems knocking that one down. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind. And now shots are falling. Now here's Murray. The drive by Jokic. And here's Millsap from the arc. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got three assists in the game. George dishes to Harrell. Murray against Beverly. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Out to the wing. The three. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. And becoming more of a staple of his attack offensively. You give Beverly a look from deep, he'll make it. To the inside. Jokic draws the double. And here's Millsap from the arc. Another three for Denver. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now here's Harrell. Leonard draws the double. Inside, Beverly, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Beverly's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, kind of tough on the defense when you let Beverly beat you on the inside. That can get his confidence going from the outside. So damage from the paint that time. Here's Murray. The kick out to Barton. For three, Harris drills the three-pointer. Harris has got the lead up to 13 now for the Nuggets. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. And it's Leonard missing. 
and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Murray against Williams, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Great Three focus from Murray, really sticking it to the D right there with the tough and one. misses from her and it's Leonard with the ball he'll bring it up for the Clippers 15 point game and it goes out of bounds that one off Harris pass to Beverly lob pass to George Leonard the pass to George. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Murray for three. Offensive rebound. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Montrez here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. Boy, is he really getting after it here in the second half, just drawing a ton of fouls. on the second free throw. Clippers trail by 16. Everly with the ball. Floats one. Here's Harrell. And that one drops for him. Well, that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Millsap kicks to Barton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Oh, and there goes Barton. Kicks it into another gear. Shoot two. Free throw good from Barton. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Clippers trail by 15. Here's Leonard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. With those long arms and with the high release point, Leonard is practically daring you to foul him. Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Nuggets leading by 13. 
Harris outside. From 13, and Jokic with the basket on the assist by Harris. Harris has got three assists tonight. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Williams with the ball, picked up by Harris. The shot, no good. And the Nuggets going the other way. That's the three fly. Denver the rebound. Well, the fact that he has that many rebounds for a guy of his size and stature shows you he truly cares about grabbing possessions off the rim. Now, here is George. Over Harris. George with the bucket. George has got 11 in the second half. Well, Paul George is tall. He's got that length, but he also has a high release point, so that, that helps him get a few more shots off without the contest bothering him. The Nuggets leading by 11. Murray outside. Here's Harris. The Nuggets with another miss. Here's Harrell. And Harrell screws it in. You see the athleticism there of Harrell and does a great job of just wreaking havoc on that possession. Denver's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. To the inside. Jokic, no good. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Traps in the tray. High drama here, guys. I mean, they've managed to get hot just when it looked like this thing was out of reach. Murray outside. Martin, good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, Barton takes some tough shots, used to making them. He did there. One twenty-four left in the game. Here's Williams. No good there. Some solid defense from Harris. Now Murray. Outside Millsap. Harris kicks to Murray. Shot clock at five. There's the three. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. And so it's Leonard with it. They'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Trailing here by eight. Well, your best players want to take on the burden come clutch time. And Paul George tearing the weight right now. Now here is Harris. Passes it to Millsap. George against Barton. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. And the Clippers call time here. They're trailing by six. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. It's funny, at this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Will Barton. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's Williams. Some solid defense from Harris. And that's an intentional foul. Makes it a seven point lead. So it gets them both, and it's an eight point game. And the Clippers call time here. They trail by eight. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making 
I'll come back. Yeah, this is the classic too little, too late. The effort coming and not enough time for them to get back in it. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Here's George. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to go on Will Barton. Yeah, I think you got to be cautious when you guard Paul George. He's not afraid of the contact. And that time welcomed it. Gets the first, and that narrows the gap to seven. And both free throws, good for Paul George. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And there's the call on Montrez Harris. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Shoot two. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Guy is a comeback, probably not in the cards at this point. Yeah, I think you can put a fork in it. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Now, here's Jokic. So the Nuggets win it. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum is so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Mason Plumley. A lot of points tonight. What was working so well offensively? Well, we're sharing the ball so well. It's fun to watch, I'm sure. But we have possessions where every guy might touch the ball almost twice. So when you get movement like that, it's hard to guard, and it's a fun way to play. You did have the defense on its toes tonight, Mason. Thanks. Kevin, back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. It's time for us to say goodbye. We hope you've enjoyed our second-round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.